Uh, I'm Guy Norris from Aviation Week. We're here in the tech zone at, here at NBAA and uh, I'm here with John Langford of Lecture Aero and John of course you're no stranger to new concepts and uh, of course here we are at NBAA with something which is not exactly a business aircraft but it's something which could serve the market in so many ways. Yes. It's the e -stall. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Sure Guy. Well first of all it's really great to be here. You know my background is 30 years in the UAV business and so we're here at NBAA as the first outing of the new company Electra.Aero which is all about hybrid electric extreme short takeoff and landing airplanes which we think is the right answer to this urban air mobility region air, regional air mobility challenge that has so many people excited. There's no doubt there's a big market in the UAM AAM space but uh, we're focused on how to do this um, with the lowest risk to certification and the lowest operating costs because we think that's really key in commercial. So this is a nine passenger airplane that can take off and land in 150 feet, requires a balanced field length of 300 feet, designed to be able to get in and out of places like the Wall Street heliport, as I said, with nine people and be able to go not just to JFK, but to Boston, to Nantucket, to Martha's Vineyard, to Washington, D.C., and to land at places there that are unimproved, not, norm, not necessarily normal airports, but the tops of parking garages, uh, any soccer field, uh, connecting into other modes of transportation. So getting people close to their point of origin, close to their destination. And can you say why um, you think this e concept, um, you know, what it brings that perhaps sure. an e-VTOL doesn't? Yeah, yeah. Well, at my previous company, we did all kinds of innovative aircraft, many, many vertical takeoff and landing, many, many electric airplanes. We kind of tried everything under the sun. So it's interesting to see some of the other folks that are reinventing the wheel here. And we understand the challenges both technically, but more importantly, economically, to the VTOL concepts. Just right off the bat, the power to lift something vertically mm -hmm. uh, and, and not use a wing is a, is a penalty that is related to how good the aerodynamics of the airplane are, but roughly a st an e-stall airplane can have half the installed power or twice the installed payload for a given size and weight of airplane. And that just ripples down the whole flow ultimately into the operating economics, which in commercial aviation is really, uh, after safety, op direct operating costs is what the game is all about. And we should tell the viewers that this is a, a hybrid powered concept yes. uh, which will power these electric rotors yep. or, or props yep. on the leading edge to yep. create this uh, powered lift effect. Yes. Could you just uh, say a quick word about that? Sure. The basic idea in the Electra's airplane is something called blown lift. It's an idea that NASA and the Air Force pioneered back in the 1960s, but it was never really a practical concept until the advent of distributed electric propulsion. Being able to put these eight or so electrically driven props along the leading edge of the wing allows you to bathe the wing with air and blow the flaps, and that allows you to achieve lift coefficients that are um, more than three times what a normal airplane can do. That translates directly into slower flight speeds and directly into the takeoff and landing, short takeoff and landing distances. And uh, finally, I suppose, when do you think that we might see these vehicles in service? What's your plan so, for that? So we're building a, a, a two-place technology demonstrator today, and we hope to have that flying early in 2023. Um, behind that is a nine passenger prototype and behind that is the type certified production airplane. Our goal is to certify in 27, uh, in 2027 and to have the airplane for in service uh, shortly after that. Well John, thanks for your thanks. time and yeah. uh, great to see you again. Absolutely. Thank good you. to see you again. Thank you. Thanks.